A proposed winery is sparking debates in Placer County. It's known as Project 8. Yeah, several folks came out to a board meeting on the topic today. ABC 10's Alicia Machado has been talking to those folks on both sides of this big debate. So bring us up to speed, Alicia. I know the meeting went late into the afternoon. Yeah, well, Chris, Laura, that meeting is actually still going on at this time after it began at 9 a.m. So we're talking about several hours that this meeting has been going on today. But folks that we've heard from today and throughout the afternoon, most of them have expressed support for this project. But there are some members of the community that are concerned about how tall the building will be, as well as how much traffic it will bring to the area. Dozens of residents lining up to have their voices heard on a proposed winery in Penryn. We, the community, we're fighting for the sanctity of our homes. Known as Project 8, the plan calls for a production facility, underground wine caves, and a 75-foot octagon-shaped building, offering guests views of the surrounding foothills and vineyards. Many people expressed their support for the project, including neighbors who live near the site and grape growers. Yeah, the traffic's going to go by my house, but you know what? I think, I think it's going to be worth it. We have the opportunity to do something amazing, and I hope you support it. It's something that I have been hoping would happen in the Placer County wine industry for a long time. But some neighbors spoke out against the plan, sharing their concerns. Arsenic levels in the soil, which are alarmingly high, inevitable traffic changes on Taylor Road, increased traffic on Tiny Callison Road, and a monstrous tower. But why are we putting a destination in the middle of a neighborhood? Others say they welcome the winery, but don't support the county changing zoning rules for the sake of the project. That's one item on the agenda, an amendment to the county's zoning rules to allow for height limit exceptions. But it still breaks the silhouette of the skyline. That should not be permitted. Project developer Mike Fournier spoke before the board addressing some of the concerns, including the height of the proposed tower. On a half a mile radius. And I would say that there's probably 15 to, to 20 houses that can see it. He also addressed the arsenic concerns. And we're going to follow every county, state, and federal rule when it comes to arsenic. Now, there are a few items that need to be approved before this project can get the green light to move forward from the board. We're talking about a, a environmental impact report, a zoning amendment, as well as a conditional use permit. And that meeting just resumed after a short break right now. That vote is expected to come out any minute for those three items. So we will continue to keep an eye on this and bring you updates as we get them both on air and online at ABC10.com. Chris, Laura. Mm, certainly a packed meeting, Alicia. Any word on when we can expect a a decision on those items? That decision should come out later tonight. We're keeping a close eye on that board meeting right now, even during my report tonight, listening in over the live stream as that meeting continues inside tonight. Okay, we'll let you get back inside. Alicia, thank you.